in today's technology. 50 years to come, our children's children's children will read the Quran and they will explain it befitting the time that they exist. That is the miracle. The Quran is for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That is the miracle. So you read this verse in Surah Al-Ankabut. It has two faces. I'll try to give both. Look at the, 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 the verse that Allah said. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ تَحَذُوا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَا كَمَثَلِ الْأَنْكَبُوتِ تَحَذَتْ بَيْتًا Then Allah said, وَإِنَّ أَوْحَنَ الْبُيُوتِ I want you to underline the word أَوْحَنْ وَإِنَّ أَوْحَنَ الْبُيُوتِ لَبَيْتُ الْأَنْكَبُوتِ بَتْ لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah said, the similitude of those whom you take to protect you. Don't you see that they build their house like the spider's house? Those who you want them to protect you. Allah said, these people, look at their house. Then Allah said, oh, the most horrible of all houses is that of the spider. If you know the implication of this parable. Awhan means horrible. Something that I've no, you know, if a spider build a house, it lives in its apartment. You could see the spider. Look at the spider. That's your house. You could see the house. It's a horrible house. You could just take your finger, destroy it within a minute. Well, in the Auhan, the most horrible houses is that of the spider. Today, inshallah, scientifically, I'm going to give you what is happening in the house of the spider, according to scientists. We have over 2,000 spider species all over. Some of them as big as this spider. Some even big, the tarantula, in the Amazon rainforest of South, South America. I've seen a spider gizzo, and I was like, subhanallah, big. It can catch chicken or small lamb, a newborn lamb. The spider will grab it. Can you imagine that? Those spiders can be found in the rainforest of uh, the Amazon. We have over 2,000 spider species. All of them have one thing in common. That is, they spawn the web with a gland that come out of them. Most spiders are blind. So recently, through studying animals, signs are telling us today, the word awhan that the Quran said, wa inna awhan al-buyut, the most horrible of all houses. But if you go deep in the lexical Arabic connotation of the meaning, the in-depth meaning of awhan, it also means a horrible, scary, physical, and, you know, mental, mental horror. Awhan. Distress. Why so? Wallahi, less than 50 years, a German scientist gave us an in-depth research about the spider. The spider's female spider is always two or three times bigger than the male spider. If the male came and mate with the female spider, at the end of the mating, she eats him. You know that? 95% or maybe 98% of the chances are if he mates with her, she end up eating him. And he knows she will eat him, but he sacrifices his life for that. So scientists are bewilderment about that. Now they come to understand that if she eats the male spider, there are certain nutrients that he is the one that has it. That will make her egg to be good size and produce beautiful, healthy spiderlings. That is the first horror. Awan, horrible house. Wallahi. When I read that, I took it to the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington, and I, I went to the Faculty of Zoology. They told me that's the truth. Then I make sujood shukur to glorify Allah. Say, Allah Akbar. She eats him because in his body, there are some nutrients that is good to lay beautiful egg. Egg that will produce healthy spiderlings. That's number one, horror in the house of spider. Number two. After two weeks, if the spider, the spider female, brings forth the egg, now they are, they've hatched, they're hungry, and now she's weak. She can't go hunting. 
or she's thinking if I go hunting by the time I come back some animal with eat my spiderling so she stay in doing so she's hungry so she eats some of the spiderlings they're trying to run away and she used her claws to catch them and eat them that's horror Our hand. the most horrible house Allah used the word horrible it's horror you know the movie horror people eating people horror those who you think will protect you their house is like the spider's house horror they will eat you so she eat the spider and number three if the food is not forthcoming the grown spider the strong survive and the weak fall apart so the young spider begin to eat one another if you are not strong your brethren and sisters will eat you. Another horror. It's like a movie house. They eat themselves. Horror. The final blow. If food is scarce, the spiderlings have grown. The female spider, she unleashes an instinct, killer instinct. She releases a thermon some gas will come out of her in back. That's the thermal. Once she releases that, the spider lane, they will read that to mean, come and eat me. So they will rush on their mother and they eat her. They call that in science, methygeny. Methygeny is the process whereby the spider lane eats their mom to survive. So what Allah said, those whom you think will protect you can't you see that their house is a horror house they're going to eat you Allah said oh, the most horrible of our houses is that of the spider then Allah said if you know the implication of this word Ya Salam. How could Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam make those statements which is consistent with modernity? Who told him? So Allah said, Like in Allah, Yashadu Bima Anzala Ilaika, Anzalahu bi ilimihi. Wamala ika to Yashadu, Wakafa bi la shahida. Allah, Ya Muhammad, whatever I reveal unto you, it is from my own fountainhead of knowledge. The angels who are around, they bear witness. Nay, I am the ultimate witness to see to it that what I've revealed is a fact. That is phase one of the spider's house. The second part is this. See, I live in New York City for like 20 years before moving to Seattle. When I was in school, I drive a taxi, I drive a yellow cab. Those of you who've been to New York, you see the yellow cab. I used to be a yellow cab driver for 14 years. I was driving the yellow and I was schooling, educating myself, supplementing paying my school fees. I don't care about my friends. They buy houses all the time. They build houses upon houses. They drive. Me, I just say, you know what? I'm going to read. I'm hungry for education. So, on Wednesday, if you go to New York somehow, on Wednesday, they do open the United Nations. People to visit. United Nations. Anytime you go, tell them you want to go to the big five. Where the big five, you know, the United States, Britain, I don't know, France, Russia, and China. This is where they sit. That is not, that is not right. Everybody will come and give a speech. Our excellency president, he came. I was in New York. I was so happy. We went to see him when he came, United Nations. We greet him. So happy our president is here. He gave a speech, about two and a half pages. But guess what? Is irrelevant. You nigger, get out of here. What you gonna tell us, man? Look at us, man. Coming from Africa, Fulani, a cow herder, a goat herder, a milk sponger like you. You're gonna come to the United Nations and tell us what to do, man, please. But they'll give you the spot, spotlight. You feel comfortable, but they don't need you. They don't need your word. They make that decision. Five of them. The spider story befitting United Nations. I was giving a talk. I said, look, I have seen United Nations in the Quran. They said, come on, Mr. Muhammad Awa. You see United Nations? Please get out of here, man. United Nations in the Quran. 
I said, yeah, it's in the Quran. They say, how about Allah? Ah, oh, man, you, you too, you know, attached with all these signs. You're not a nation. I said, what? Are you surprised? As if Allah, couldn't Allah mention United nation? I said, well, that's true. I said, well, Allah said, Kullu shay'il fastanahu tafsila. So each and everything is in the Quran. Mm -hmm. So me, I've seen, so I came to give a lecture. And that lecture is so clear and succinct. Listen, United Nations, the same verse of the Ankabut. I'm asking the question, what is the emblem of United Nations? What is the flag of United Nations? Spider's web. What is inside that web? What is inside that spider's web? Globe, world map. To catch us, to eat us. Yes. <laughs> they squeeze us, man. You want to catch fish? What do you do? You, 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 know, you cast the net, right? <laughs> it catches the bed, the spider. WWW, dot whatever. You want to catch information? That's what you do. So why would they choose spider's web as their emblem? That's the question. And then we are inside. Man, we're in trouble. They're going to eat us. And they are eating us in one way or the other. Allah said, look, anything you run in United Nations, Allah said, look at, look at their house. It's like that of the spider. And wallah, if you go and see where the big five sit, it's built with a glass. The glass is like a spider, you know, like this and like this. It's like a dome. The inside. I said, subhanallah. Ya salam. Allah said, don't you see their house is built like the spider's house? Allah said, if you understand the implication of this spider. So the Quran is a book that mankind have to bow down to it. Uh, 